Hi, this is just an actual extra little quick update about my Commander Ramir again. Um, well, yeah, I bought him, well, I got him given for Christmas as a present. Um, he's probably my best, definitely my best man, actually. My best unit. He's, um, he's from Forge World. He's got his own special rules, and you can print off the sheets from the website, as you can see. That's sort of part of the story and everything. Um, and his status is here. As you can see, he's pretty good. He's got a weapon skill of 4, ballistic skill of 5, strength 5, toughness 5, wounds 4, initiative 3, um, assault 4, leadership 10, and save 3. But he's also got a um, vulnerable save of four plus. So uh, invulnerable, sorry, I can't can't remember how to say it. Um, so that's really good. So when uh, I'm playing against Ryan, it helps because he's got a Chaos Lord, and I couldn't really defeat it very well before. But now I'm doing pretty well. Um, he's got some extra little rules and things. Uh, his got a double barrel plasma rifle which has a range of 24, strength 6, AP 2 and assault 2 um, which is really good, I really like that weapon I've not had much of a chance to use it though because of his um, ballistic skill being 5, it's quite hard to roll 5 or 6 all the time um, it's pretty good in close combat um, Actually, any it says here any model engaged in close combat with Ramir will be wounded on a D6 roll of four plus with armor saves allowed before resolving its attacks. This the discharger may only be used once per game, so that's pretty good as well. Um, I understand it will probably only be useful against certain strong models. Um, there is something else here I was meant to mention. Can't find it. Well, basically, his shield. I know he most battle suits actually have three war gears, um, but the commander only has his gun. But his shield, I think, is what gives him such a good save as well, and his invulnerable save. So yeah, he's pretty good overall. Um, I'll show you him again. I showed you him on another video, but. Just to show you again who he is for those that haven't seen the other videos. Uh, like I said in the last video, he's hard to paint and assemble because of him being from Forge World, unless you know exactly what you're doing. Um, but he is my favourite model out of the whole army, probably. He's just really good looking and in, in, in a uh, long, weird sense. Um, yeah, but he's the best model in the game in Tawu, I reckon. People could argue that. I haven't tried out every model, but he is my favourite. And I was going to get some Eternals, but I decided not to in the end because um, I've already got a commander now, so there's not much point. Uh, I don't want to put the points cost too, up too much on my army for things I didn't really need. Um, yeah, so that's that. Thanks for watching. Um, there should be more updates soon. And yeah, thanks for watching again.